Well, I decided to put this on YouTube for you all to to, uh, to watch. This is a um, newly created Commodore 64 with the original keyboard and the casing that I uh, found in my uh, shed that I've had and kept in for a very long time. I remember buying this when I was in Brisbane, Queensland, Australia. Uh, oh, here we go. That's the uh, original sticker and stuff. So, okay. Um, I want to say that this is this is all done by hand. Anyway, this video um, that I've got this. Gideon's board it came perfectly um, shipped. It's all stapled to the board. It came well. I put those in there, but I haven't put those in there yet. They just stop the um, scratches on the board if you're putting in certain mounts. But um, I just did that just to create this video. So you know what I've going to put in there but um yeah the board was sitting in there i had the speaker then the uh power supply in there all right now going back to over here if i can open up this like that it's gonna be very careful Oof. see um, and I had it stored for so long if it's going to zoom up on there I don't know if it's going to do that there is a slight I don't know if it's going to do it uh... What with my finger is? Oh, there it is. There, there you go. There you are. Slight crack in there. So if you just sort of glue that, it's probably being stored. Had things on top of it, but anyway, we'll continue with the video now. This is the ultimate board. Obviously, you can put like a little hard drive maybe there. Um, when I uh, joined the videos together, I noticed that I couldn't put or couldn't hear any sound. So I think in here would be it says SID tap. So something wire there, and then you connect a port so you can have sound output. So this SID chip. This is the 6581R4. It's one of the best SID chips. It sounds so fucking good. Excuse my language. Uh, it's the Ultimate 64 version 1.4A Elite serial number. So obviously maybe they made 2879 batch. There's my speaker. Um, it's turned down just so you can just hear it. You know, you can, sounds of your hard drive work and all that apparently you can go on the internet with this thing bbs boards I'm not too sure um yeah just creating this video because i've never bought one of these recreated 64 boards that are just this is just out of the world man this is alien shit this um 
This is where the user port used to be on the old system, but they've put USB ports, you can put your hard drive or USB sticks, um, your HDMI port, your tape uh, drive can go there, video port which is what I've used and realised that I had to use sound out of the old, t the old TV because <laughs> uh, my uh, monitor over here is a VGA and I've used the cord that converts it to um, HDMI so just be aware of that uh, now this is probably um, user port there maybe I don't know that you could extension header well, user port might be there, or tucked under there. There's got to be a user port that you could plug in an old Wi-Fi modem or something like that, because I believe this one here is a cable bloody one. I mean, yeah, not sure any people use that, but anyway. Um, yeah, this is really, really cool, guys. Uh, is that a TI, Texas Instruments? Okay, whatever's available, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to do something like this because I have not seen up close on the internet. So you can see all the chips, the makes maybe, maybe you could probably put it in the Comments or something, what they are. 7.5 to 15 volt DC regulated. Yeah. I don't know what that is. A little thing there, a little jumper lid or something, is it? Yeah. See what that Very nice board. I, um, I'm getting the um, another Commodore 64 new created one, but um, yeah, I was thinking about that. But this um, keyboard was um, done off eBay. Um, I got an old one which shift lock stuffed in it. This one is all nice, and it's a $150 keyboard here. <laughs> From Hungarian, but they've really cleaned it up and everything professionally done. So that's all nice. Oh, we're gonna put that seat chip back in there properly, eh? No, oh, it's just a bit loosey. Okay. So there's the um, Ultimate C64 Elite version board for everyone who is interested in these systems. Um, yeah, it's got the new cords and that that reached way over the bloody years, so I had to get all new ones there. Um, just before I go, there's a bracket. There it is. It's I've painted it. Um, white and it's the steel ones that you buy off eBay. They really are cool. Uh, there they are. Look at that. Nice, eh? So we'll put that together and uh, just we bought this from Pixel Wizard, those wiring and some screws. And this is what I end up getting. Okay, and it did come with the old bit of one of these 
I noticed in the casing so yeah all right let's um turn this on and get it all going for you so that's the elite board in there um, there is a another board that I am wanting to get in the future just wanted to show you it is the C64 Reloaded Mark II so that's the new board I'm going to buy in the future with a uh, mechanical keyboard I'm going to be spending big dollars time this is finished it'd be close to two grand I think Australian dollars so they're very because of the uh, keyboard alone is about 500 yeah they, they're charging a fortune for those getting more done but um, yeah and my next uh, video soon will be the Amiga 500 which I don't have the um, information about it yet but uh, I'll get all that and I've had this rare blizzard turbo memory car which I have not installed which I don't need it but I don't know never used it brand new it's just missing a uh, Motorola 68 68,000 chip so all right that's me Commodore 64 Let's go to the next uh, step when I uh, join these videos together. No volume. What's the go there, guys? Okay, interesting. Is there a port here for sound? Um, no sound. Yeah, all right, I'll check that out. Well, this is the uh, ultimate elite Commodore sixty four motherboard built into this thing. I had trouble with the sound. I thought I'd have to take the board back, but no, apparently it doesn't come with a sound port. You can build one. And there's a little SID. Uh, I'm sure you would put a bit of wire there and you just hook up speakers to it. Uh, yeah. I've... So I decided to hook up this um, dim that's a dim 8 or something it comes with a best video but I don't have that with mine which yeah I just use this TV to get the sound uh, yeah AVs so. and um, what do you know I just uh, click on this thing here Not sure you can hear that because the TV is way over there. But if I put the volume up, I oh, know it's a stupid guys, but I don't know what they were thinking. So I have to uh, put one with the RF holders and plug one of these things in. Yeah, but anyway. I love the sound of this. Have a look at this. <laughs> Remember those days. But yeah, finally got it all working. Looks good. But um, there's one thing I want to ask. It's 
weird. But uh, do that for a moment. Okay, like that. Yeah, machine. Yeah, this has been um, updated, so yeah, configuration is a bit different. So you just go reset 64. Uh, go into SID music files. If you go into Axel Foley and play and run it, you won't hear it. Unknown. There's my chip, 6581. Sometimes it comes up with a number, but anyway, it's weird. I'm off to use a different software, which I have somewhere that'll play it, because uh, I have it on the original Commodore 64. So yeah, just click on the the one stop, comes up with that. But if you go uh, bad day. <laughs> Five eighty one for the system. Yeah, I must have it built in. Eighty five eighty. I don't have that. So it's using. I don't know. It's using a built in one. So, yeah, it's all set up. You click on here, audio, it's all set there. Um, I don't know what else to do. There's mine, 6581. I don't know if being ghosted is what it's meant to. There it is. Socket one, enable. Go up there, socket one. Yeah, I don't know. But this thing is just, it's huge. It's, pretty, it's got a lot of options. Well, I have now kept up with the Commodore. <laughs> it's ridiculous, but... Yeah, I don't know. I think it's pretty good. Um, Cosmic Force. That's all I've got to show. I hope you enjoyed watching this, but uh, it's amazing system, and I've still got it, but it's just an updated one. I'll uh, upload my original Com 64 board, and I'll show you. I've never replaced anything in it. It still works, even the old power supply uh, still has the the right amount of voltage out. Um, it's one of those modern type power supplies but it's the old version of course but it's, it's not one of those sealed ones but uh, alright till next time